Hello people of YouTube, today we're covering the complete installation of the 52 inch Sidlow ceiling fan by Hampton Bay. If you found this video, you might be stuck in your own installation and you're looking for some help, we're here to do just that. We've already unpacked the fan and we're going to install this thing step by step all the way to turning it on, but if you want to fast forward through the video, use the links below and that'll take you to each individual step in the process. And if at the end you find this video helpful, please click like and subscribe and that'll help other people find it as well. So before we get started, just a couple of important safety notes. You want to make sure that the electricity is turned off at the breaker box and at the wall switch. This is an easy project, but if you don't feel comfortable working around electricity, please consult with a licensed electrician. And one other safety note is if you're hanging this fan where you just had a light fixture on your ceiling, you need to make sure that the outlet box is clearly marked acceptable for fan support. If not, you'll need to replace that before beginning. So let's talk about the fan for a second. This fan is a flush mount hugger style fan, making it perfect for rooms with low ceilings. It's got some great quick fit installation features like a slide on mounting bracket, AccuArm blade arms with captive screws, twist and lock light shades, and quick install blades that snap onto the fan in seconds with no screws necessary. All this makes for a quick and easy installation. It does include a light kit and the three LED bulbs are included too for your convenience. So as you can see here, we've already unpacked the fan. We've opened up the manual to the parts page. We're just going to go through all the parts to make sure we have everything before beginning and that way we don't get stuck along the way. So first up you have the slide on mounting bracket. You have five reversible quick install blades. The AccuArm blade arms with the captive screws. The three twist and lock light shades. The light kit. The fan motor housing. The fan motor. You have three LED bulbs and a hardware pack that has the plastic wire nuts and pull chain extensions. So that's all the parts, just some tools we'll need for this easy project. You really just need a Phillips head screwdriver. You might need a pair of wire cutters and strippers. We like to have a line voltage tester just to make sure the wires aren't live before beginning. You'll definitely need some electrical tape and of course a ladder. So we have everything here. We're ready to begin. Let's get this done. There are two screws on either side of the mounting bracket that will align with the L slot and the standard screw hole of the motor housing. These screws hold the motor housing in place when it's installed. When looking at the mounting bracket, the screw on the left will align with the L slot and the screw on the right will align with the standard screw hole. Begin by first loosening but not removing the screw on the left side, and then loosen and remove and save the screw on the right side. Repeat this for the other side of the mounting bracket. This fan features a slide-on mounting bracket for easy installation. There are two slots in the mounting bracket that will align with the two screws of the outlet box. When installing the mounting bracket, you'll simply align the screws with the slots in the mounting bracket and then slide it into place and tighten. This is just a demonstration. To install the mounting bracket, begin by loosening but not removing the two screws in the outlet box. Next, run the house wires through the center hole of the mounting bracket, making sure that the side with the rubber pads is facing towards the ceiling. Align the slots with the screws and slide the mounting bracket in place. Then completely tighten both screws using a Phillips head screwdriver. Make sure both screws are completely tightened. Hang the fan motor assembly on the mounting bracket using the slotted hole of the motor bracket and the hook on the mounting bracket. Insert the hook into the slotted hole to conveniently hang the fan for wiring. Begin wiring the fan by taking the green ground wire from the fan and connecting that with the bare copper wire from the house supply lines. This is the ground connection. Twist those two wires together and complete the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Next, take the white wire from the fan and twist that wire together with the white wire from the house supply lines. This is the neutral connection. Twist those two wires together and secure the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. Complete the wiring by taking the black and blue fan wires and twisting those two wires together. 
Once those wires are twisted together, twist those together with the black wire from the house supply lines. This is the power connection. Secure the connection using an included plastic wire nut and a piece of electrical tape. The fan attaches to the mounting bracket using four pre-installed screws. There are two on either side of the fan motor bracket that will align with the four screw holes in the mounting bracket, two on either side. Lift the fan assembly so that those screws align with the screw holes in the mounting bracket. Once the fan is in place, use a Phillips head screwdriver to secure the fan to the mounting bracket. Make sure all four screws are completely tight. The motor housing attaches to the mounting bracket using an L-slot and a standard screw hole on either side of the motor housing. These will align with the screws in the mounting bracket. Place the motor housing over the motor assembly and align the L-slots of the motor housing with the two screws that remain in the mounting bracket. Then push up and twist to hold the motor housing in place. Once the motor housing is in place, use the two screws that were removed and saved before installing the mounting bracket. Insert the screw into the standard screw hole of the motor housing and tighten using a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat this process for the screw on the other side of the motor housing. Once those two screws are tightened, completely tighten the two remaining screws in the L slots. This fan includes AccuArm blade arms for easy installation. The alignment post of the blade arm will align with the long slot at the base of the motor. Simply insert the alignment post into the long slot at the base of the motor and the two captive screws will automatically align with the two screw holes at the base of the motor. Completely tighten both of these screws using a Phillips head screwdriver. Repeat this process for the four remaining blade arms. It's a good idea to go back through each blade arm and make sure that each screw is completely tightened. This fan features quick install blades. The blade arm has a locking mechanism and three pre-installed screws and grommets that align with three keyhole slots on the blades. To install the blades, you'll just align those keyhole slots with the screws and grommets and pull away from the fan to lock it in place. The spring clip mechanism will lock the blade in place. This is just a close-up demonstration to show how it's done. To install the blades, make sure that the blade finish that you want is facing towards the floor. Then align the keyhole slots with the grommets on the blade arm Press down and pull away from the fan to lock the blade in place. Make sure the locking mechanism snaps in place to make sure that the blades are secure. Repeat this process for the four remaining blades. The light kit attaches to the fan using three pre-installed screws on the light kit. Those screws will align with the three holes on the switch cup at the base of the fan. Start by using a Phillips head screwdriver to remove and save those three screws. Next, locate the white and blue wires inside the switch cup of the fan and gently pull them down. Connect the white wire from the fan to the white wire from the light kit and the blue wire from the fan to the blue wire from the light kit using the easy snap connector plugs. Once the wire connections have been made, gently tuck the wires into the light kit and the switch cup. Note the notch cutout on the light kit. This cutout will align with the reverse switch on the side of the switch cup. Align the notch cutout with the reverse switch and align the holes in the light kit with the holes in the switch cup and then gently press the light kit into the fan. While holding the light kit in place, insert one of the three screws that was removed and saved at the beginning of this step. Use a Phillips head screwdriver to completely tighten this screw. Then repeat for the two remaining screws. Make sure all three screws are completely tightened before proceeding. The light shades attach to the light kit using a twist and lock method. There are three slots along the top edge of the light shade that will align with the three nubs on the inside of the light shade holder on the light kit. Align the slots with the nubs and then press the light shade into the holder and then twist to lock it in place. Repeat this process for the two remaining shades. Next, install the three included LED bulbs 
into the three sockets of the light kit by simply screwing them into the sockets. The pull chain extensions are located in the hardware pack and easily snap onto the ends of the fan's pull chains. Attach both pull chain extensions. The fan is controlled by pull chains. Pull the fan pull chain once for high speed, twice for medium speed, three times for low speed, and once more to turn the fan off. Pull the light chain once to turn the light on, and again to turn it off. The fan has a three-speed reversible motor. The reverse switch is located right above the light kit on the switch cup of the fan. Switch down creates a downward airflow for use in the hotter months. Switch up creates an upward airflow to pull warm air from the ceiling for use during the cooler months. Make sure the fan is off before attempting to reverse the fan's directions. Congratulations! Your ceiling fan installation is now complete. Time to sit back, relax with a nice tall beverage, and enjoy your new ceiling fan. As always, thanks for watching, and if you found this video helpful, please click like and subscribe down below, and that'll help other people find it as well. And as we always say around here, keep it breezy.